Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So welcome to this session. Thank you. Today we are going to do the module on uh, how to do a marketing plan, marketing and sales plan. We are going, uh, it's part of the Improve Your Business by um, Anneli. So the sales and marketing plan is part of what you have to include in your uh, overall uh, business plan. Okay? So the objective of this session is to describe the steps taken when making a sales and marketing plan. You are going to develop so a sales document for your business and also use the sales and marketing plan to improve your business. Okay. So this uh, sales and marketing plan is incorporated in other plans. We all we started with the SWOT to do the business analysis. We set the objectives. We did the risk management strategies. Now, do you remember the seven P's of marketing? The seven P's. Place, people, product, product solution, process. Process, yes. Promotion. Promotion. Product. Product. Yes. So these seven P's right will also be used in your focus on sale. And plus also you can use um, the past data that you have on your business. Okay. What would you expect? To find what else would you expect in your marketing plan? It's the marketing budget. Marketing budget, budget okay. Yes, and uh, naturally the forecast on how uh, how much we want to sell next year to okay. achieve uh, achieve more than break even point. Yes, yes, good. Yes, and also the factors that are determining the marketing efforts. Factors, yes. For example, let's say for example the market is always uh, evolving. Yes. Let's say with regulations or uh, taste and preferences, changes in taste and preferences among the public consumers, mm -hmm. and also the purchasing power of people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these are factors that influence mm -hmm. the marketing uh, plan. Basically, it will be a pestle, no? Yes. The new trends. Mm -hmm. the pestle. The pestle. Yeah. Emerging trends. The trends. The new trends. trends. Emerging trends. Very good. Good. So other questions that you will take into consideration also will be the specific activities that the business will be implementing, right? To improve the effectiveness of its market. Like you said, the efforts that are going to be taken, right? You have also in this marketing plan the decision about what marketing activities that you're going to carry um, carry on, like the campaign, if you want to do. Campaign and also it will require you as business owners to answer the question do we need to increase our prices? Right? So if you are going to plan an increase in price, the focus will change accordingly. Right? So other questions that you will ask, right? About your marketing plan. Competitors analysis, who are our competitors? Competitors, yes, competitors. Market targeted. Market, really? Target. Yes. So we can have Financial. the products features. We know about the accounts of the business, like the, the cash flow. Cash flow, yes. Right. Cash flow. Yes. So, whether the products features are satisfying the current market, whether the trends have changed, we say different. Uh, it also depends on, uh, let's say, this is quite linked to the cash flow and the internal operations of the business. Mm -hmm. But uh, the price of the product itself is more important to, uh, to determine the marketing efforts because a hike, uh, let's say, an increase in the price of uh, supplies, raw materials, 
does impact on the uh, final price of the product. Mm -hmm. So we, we need to take into account this also. Yes. Pricing, pricing strategy, strategy well. pricing strategy. And contingency and plans also. Yeah. So this is the, in the market. How this, how, what are the trends in the market? Will also affect the price, yes? Uh, whether the price is realistic or not, that's it, so. Now, again, about the 70s, right? So the location of the business, right? Yes. Oops. Okay, is it convenient? How can we reach the customer easier? Yes? What else? And then the customer will be able to buy the product in a convenient way, but the online processing is better, right? Uh, will the business have enough resources, financial and uh, staff to efficiently sell direct to their customers? So whether you're going to sell to wholesale or yeah, go and market directly to the customers. So are uh, your calculations correct? Right? This is also important. Is the focus on the sale realistic? Considering the capacity of the business. Uh, for example, the production capacity, the total number of staff that you have, etc. So all these are take, has to be taken in consideration, right? Do the cost in the cost plan correspond to the cost using uh, costing? So when you're doing the costing, you're going to see that in the case study, right? If the sales are projected to increase gradually during the year, it's also we have to take into consideration, right? Is the project that plus profit positive after the initial month of starting the business? So you have to see how the plus profit is increasing. Is the projected monthly net profit positive? So we have to take all these consideration when we are doing our work. But we have a case study now by plastic solutions. So We'll have around 10 minutes to do this case study. And uh, I'll let you read. You want to read together or you want to together. read together? Work. All right, so we'll get one paragraph each. So I don't have enough if you can. But um, okay. Yes. Plastic Solutions is a manufacturer which produces plastic balls out of recycled plastics. It produces two types two inch diameter poles and four inch diameter poles. Business analysis. Customers appreciate plastic solutions poles for their high quality and because they are environmentally friendly, even though they are more expensive than alternatives products. This year, sales are a bit higher than last year. However, the company is still losing money. Production at plastic solution is not stable due to machine breakdowns so sometimes the company does not have enough products to sell. The machine breakdowns also increase material consumption that has led to higher production costs. Forecast changes in the external market. The economy is in a slow, so people are cautious about spending money. However, as people are very concerned about environmental protection, the owner of Plastic Solutions believes that customers will be willing to pay a little bit more for her products. She forecasts that the price of raw materials will remain unchanged next year because they increased significantly this year. The owner also thinks that her rent will be reduced next year due to an excess supply of vacant properties. Objectives for the following year. Achieve a net profit of $5,000 without polluting the environment. Risk management. Fire is the risk that the owner of Plastic Solutions believes to be her highest priority. Because it is prevalent in that time of production and its impact is significant. She decides to reduce the possibility of a fire occurring by training her employees about operational health and safety. She also buys insurance to transfer the risk. Sales and marketing plan to improve sales next year. The owner of Plastic Solutions plans to do the following. Make sure that goods are always available to sell. Give credit to some regular customers. Label each product with information about its green business and that it uses recycled plastics. 
implement campaigns to promote its environmentally friendly products in November and December. This, these will cost $1,300 per month. If the selling price of the products are changed at $11 per meter for the four inch pole and $3.5 per meter for the two inch pole. Improve the productivity of the two existing sales staff by training them about promoting their green business. With these actions, the owner of the company estimates that the sale will increase 40%. So you have given also a table of the sales, the monthly sales ratio. So you can see the figures. So we have two inch poles and four inch poles, right? So now we have a small group work. We have, you are going to do a focus of the sale for plastic solution for the first three months of the year, okay? You can discuss it. So you do not have to fill all the tables here, only for the first No, time. it's on the first one. Are you done? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So you can check your so the sales quantity right is okay. as we say as we have seen, right? It's the amount is the volume of sale that you're going to do yeah. based on your product. The selling price is the unit price that you're going to sell, and the sales total is going to be the multiplication of the sales quantity by the selling price, right? So uh, now, uh, can you verify if we've got these yeah. uh, figures, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, yes. for everybody? Yes. yes. Wait. 406, 412, 21, 394. 392. Three ninety two. It's three ninety two. There, it's not three ninety four. I think it's, yeah. this one is a needs to be reviewed. Yeah, the table. Okay. Two sales quantity. Five hundred six. Okay. Five hundred four. The last one is correct. Five hundred four. Five hundred four. Five hundred sixteen. Ah, Five hundred eighty eight. No. Yeah. For the sales in January. Uh, four inch poles, four twenty times one, one five eighty eight. Five eighty eight is it? Is okay here. Yeah. And then for uh for the second one is four hundred times one point four. It's five sixty. Five sixty is okay. For the third one, for the third one is um uh, four hundred for the four inch pole. Four inch pole. It's four hundred. Mm -hmm. So you, well, you multiply it by 1.4, it's 560. 560. For the four inch. Four inch. 560, yes. Okay. For the four inch is 400, yeah. 506 is okay? 560 is okay, yeah. yeah. 506 is okay? 506. For which one? The second. Second, second, second column. The second is four and four. We got it. Yeah. Okay. Four and four. Yeah. And then for the first one. It's three ninety two. Three ninety two. Okay. Yeah. Great. And then you have the idea now. Sorry. How to calculate, right? And focus the sales. It's for closing. Yeah. yeah. So today, what we have learned, we are going to summarize, right? We have. Uh, we have already done the business analysis. We have used the business analysis to focus uh, changes. And then we have the business objective statement into consideration and the risk management strategies all are included in the sales and marketing. Okay. And then the sales and marketing plan has to be based on the understanding of the business and the market, right? Not ambitious. So we have used data, as you have seen in the case study, we have used data to focus our next lesson. And this will help us to better plan all our production, right, our staffing, and uh, what we need to improve, what is needed to be Okay, session we have on the next session. Yeah. The next session, okay, going to do the production and cost plan. Okay, you're interested to do the next session? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any question? Yeah. Okay.
Thank you. Thank you.